Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Celestial Farm Girl here, and uh, we're here to uh, express ourselves and to uh, get in touch with the energy of the Divine Feminine every day of the week, right? But, you know, we might not always be able to do that, but, you know, we try to, to get in touch with ourselves, our Divine Femininity. I just want to tell everybody I'm so grateful that you watch my videos and that you share and resonate with me and it makes me feel so not alone and and hopefully it makes you feel as if somebody understands and knows you too and with that being said I just want you all to know that I love you and thank you so much for your like, share, subscribes and for coming from the beginning even when I started I think next month it'll be two years I'm not sure but uh yeah it's it's slow going but of course this channel is different it's more about healing than you know going over the past continuously so and that's what we're going to keep on doing moving forward right we ride the chariot on this channel we do not hang around and uh, you know, wallow in the muck. We ascend, ascend, ascend. We learn, we learn, we learn, and we move forward. Sometimes we move in all directions at once, right? We expand and branch out. Okay, let's see what kind of archetype we're going to get today to uh, guide us in the divine feminine reading. And I pray to the power of the Holy Spirit and creator of creations for uh, guidance and that we are able to find things that can help us in our day-to-day -day practical life as well as our spiritual love amen the storm oh no the sword the sword mm -hmm. we have 62 here the sword was sword. I want to say, boy, the sword is something else, right? The sword of truth. Uh, it's dangerous. It hurts. It cuts deep. Um, la, 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 la. I'm looking for my book, guys. I'm a little disorganized. And I've got these puppies in. Okay, it can't be far. I was just looking at it. Oh, it's in the big book. There it is. Okay, the sword is the sword of truth, the sword of protection. Um, you know, the sword of good and evil. Of course, we know the sword of good is way stronger than the sword of evil. Okay, here we are. To use the sword is to decide. The blade separates one reality from another. The choice is made and all else falls away. If you find the sword in your grasp, you can no longer hesitate. This weapon requires a clear and decisive mind and a willingness to act. An onlooker may think the sword bearer is hasty and violent, but the most compassionate and responsible gesture is one that is honest, swift, and accurate. Our first encounter with the sword is at birth when the cord we share with the mother is cut. This moment defines our separation from her and begins our journey of becoming ourself. We must make these cuts again and again if we are to grow. Decisions shape our life, and the sword is an infamous shaper of destiny. If you're in the light, you cutting through to what is essential. When dark, hasty, backstabbing, dull, and painful blade, Okay, so um, the sword, we must be truthful with ourselves, right? We must look at ourselves first to know what is needed and what is not needed. 
what we want in our lives, what we don't want in our lives. And then we have to make the decisions how to cut those things away that are unwanted. And it's not always easy because it could be people we love. It could be habits we love. It could be, um, you know, it can be anything from addictions, codependency, things that we've had in our life so long that we don't even know what it would be like to be without them. Hey, I'm guilty. I still have, I still smoke, you know. That's something I've really had a hard time of working with. I have been working through it in my heart and my mind to set myself in a place where I can um, begin to try, you know, and geez, I've been smoking since I was eight years old, so it's not going to be easy for me. I, 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 don't, I almost don't even remember when I didn't smoke. And I was raised on tobacco farms. That's what my dad did. He cut tobacco, worked with tobacco. And, you know, it was like everybody smoked. Kids, parents, grown-ups, <laughs> just hillbillies. Not no matter what a good hillbilly, if it's got a little bit of common sense, you really, that's, you know, but... You know, we, that's just what we did. That's, that's the uneducated uh, simpleness of people who, you know, don't understand what they're doing to themselves, right? But whether it's smoking or, you know, somebody mistreating you or, you know, you want to open up a new chapter in your life, no matter what it is, you know, in order to begin something new, generally something old has to be cut away to make space or room for it. You know, you have to make space and room for anything new that's coming in. So um, it looks like the sword is up to the front line, and I'm not exactly sure where we're going with the sword, um, but we're going to go ahead. The moon is in Leo today. A lot of fire and water. Uh, always the fire and water. I love fire and water. You know, the earth and air is is grounding and light. Fire and water is the metaphysical powers that work through the quantum fields. The purest elements. Fire from the sun. Water from the ethers. Right? And that's what we have in our body is the water from the ethers and the fire from the sun. So we have this pure elements in our body that are here to help us to uh, find the best parts of ourselves while letting those parts that we don't want die away. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, we just keep, we don't condemn ourselves. We just keep trying. We fall off the wagon. We forgive ourselves. And then we begin trying again. That's just how we have to do it. There's no other way around it. Okay. So we have um, Aries fire. More fire with Leo, right? Leo fire going on. And we have water, cancer. And we are at this time in cancer. So happy birthday, all cancers that are out there. I love you. Your sweethearts, sweet mothers. I love you. And we have eight, eternal. Um, yeah, eight, eternal. It, it reminds me of what comes around, goes around. What comes around, goes around. And um, higher awareness, higher consciousness. And Aries could be considered the father as well. And that's what we have here. And we have cancer. So mother and father, fire and water. Again, the purest elements that one can do and creating eternally the mother and father creates eternally forevermore yeah when one thing goes away something else takes its place there's there's you know no voids even though it might look like a void but there is no voids right no voids Okay, so what do we want to talk to the Divine Feminine about today, about cutting things away and out of her life to clean things up and, and bring it...
much to bring it through. Okay, why don't we... Maybe we're getting ready to go on a journey, Divine Feminine. The world is changing really fast right now. Um, judgment's been called upon the authoritarians of the world, which is wisdom, right? That's wisdom. To call judgment on those who've been running the world that's fallen apart is only wisdom. And uh, wisdom will take us a whole lot further than, you know, trying to make people happy. Uh, wisdom is something that comes from within. And, and you know, on this gravy train, on at this place and time, we cannot afford to make people happy. Making people happy has, has depleted 75% of the population trying to make bosses happy, trying to make um, landlords happy, trying to make bankers happy. There's just no getting them happy, is there? They just want more, 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 more. And so wisdom is for us as a collective to call judgment on the authority figures who are responsible for the shape of our financial situation, our homeless situation, our educational situation, and our medical situation all around the world as a collective because we're all joined, right? We are one world. We're not really seven continents. We're one world. We're, we're seven islands upon one ocean, actually, and um, we are one world, and we all deserve to um, be treated equal, not according to how a king of each nation determines we should be treated, but by the ethics and universal laws and divine law, right? Right? Yeah, because we are divine. We are creatures of this planet. We are children of this earth. Just as much as the bears, the owls, the foxes. And we, you know, deserve to have homes and food and educations and medical. And, you know, days where we ain't stressing over whether we're going to have to hit the streets or not. Because we're not pleasing the upper echelons of demons. We're tired of pleasing them. And if we're not, we should be. And we need to step up into our wisdom and begin spreading the love of the word of truth coming from the Father of Righteousness as well as the Holy Mother Spirit coming out of the child, the children. We are the children. We are the children. We are the people. Yeah, we're here to make a better world. So let's start believing and speaking out, asking for raises, demanding better treatment and respect from those who are around us, especially as divine feminines. I notice that masculines get treated a lot more respectful than a woman does. And it's about time who they learn that we're just as important as them any day. Without us, there is no world. We populate the world. We deserve more respect, more equality, whether it's in salary, housing. Actually, every mother should be given a home that's bringing a new life into this world. That should be her gift. That should be her gift. And that's my desire for every woman. The gift of any mother or woman who brings life into this planet or accepts life to take care of should be gifted a home because you're, you're, you're bringing up resources for the world. Without the people, there are no, there are no, uh, there's no businesses. Without children, uh, without growing up into adults, they have no workers, right? Right. They're kind of like the grasshoppers in the ant show, right? They just want to eat up all of everything. They want, they, they, they're never happy until they clean you out. That's what Trump reminds me of with all those uh, um, casinos 
that he left bankrupt in these small towns that just kind of like looked like a bunch of grasshoppers went through and just took everything. Yeah, it was sad. It was sad. I, I don't believe in kings. No. Ain't nobody going to be no king over me. I'll be a man's equal. But I'm damned if he going to be a king. Not in my vi not in my mind. No way. No way. Especially anybody corrupt. And that's the damn truth. And we need to speak out on corruption. We need to begin spreading the word about corruption. Anywhere we see war, poverty, and uh, over over police force, over military, that's corruption. That's war. That's death. That's corruption. Anything that's bringing disease and death and stress upon this planet, that's corruption. If it don't bring peace, it's of Satan. It's of evil. It's of low level, low vibing, and it feeds the dark chaos. So, you know, we, what do you believe in? Do you believe peace on earth, goodwill to all life? Or do you believe that our politicians should have ultimate control and be able to determine what, what they want like kings? No, no. We are the people. We make them who they are, not the other way around. And it's time we stood up knowing that we are equals. It's in the Constitution. When we realize that we're equals and we stand up and ask for it, they literally have to hand it over. And we don't have to do it in war. We're not like them. We're not murderers. We don't want everything. We just want our fair share. Right? Just our fair share. We don't want everything. Keep your yachts. Keep your your mansions, you know, if it does you good. But make sure everybody else is taken care of, too. To have, you know, most people don't even own one home, let alone four, five, six. A lot of people are having a hard time to even rent a damn apartment these days. Everything's gotten so out of whack. And we need to stand up and speak up about it. We need to talk to our landlords and say, this is not right. Uh, you know, I mean, what can they say for us speaking up the truth? You know, if you're harassed, speak out. Tell them it's not right. Uh, begin to speak out your truth. They're not allowed to kill us like they could in the old days or burn us at the stakes. So Divine Feminine, speaking our truth right here of our desires for this planet is wisdom. And I just read that backwards. Okay. So the wisdom of our desires comes when we speak aloud the truth and the whole world stands still and in awe and can't refute it. We're talking about the darkness, the dark matrix, the dark, the dark hole that's over this planet cannot refute the truth. So speak your truth loud, bold, and proud to be a... Um, you know, a part of the divine feminines, we have six and seven and eight senses sometimes. So we know things that not everybody else knows. King of water. Emotions, our emotions tell us so much about the world around us. We know what's safe by how we feel. We know what's um, what needed, needs to be done by how we feel. We understand how we feel and we process those feelings and emotions so that we can turn them into power and use them in order to help um, speak the truth to others, to share with them the emotional truth we know. Therefore, they too can take that truth and share it on further and further. We don't hold back. We must speak the truth. Uh, it is a time to where we're balancing out the light and the dark. And, you know, we'll never get rid of the darkness, and nor do we want to, because we always need a challenge. What we want to get rid of is the corruption. 
in the darkness, that hides within the darkness, the corruption, politics, power, material gain, lust, sacrificing children to war, to whatever other kind of things go on by the rich, famous, and wealthy, and powerful. God only knows. I don't want to know. I pray, though, for judgment on him. I pray for God to bring judgment and expose, expose everything. Pray with me. Pray with me. Yeah. The chrome. Yeah. Maiden Mother Chrome. It's a journey, right? We start out as maidens, we turn into mothers, and eventually we grow into the grandmothers who didn't turn our backs. We grow into the grandmothers that look straight ahead and face the truth with all of our hearts and souls and battle it if it's not right. Even if it's ugly truths, we try to bring the best out of what is in there for whoever it is and others. To let them know, don't feed the darkness. Don't feed lies. Don't feed all that crap, that ugly beast that's waiting on the outskirts. Just waiting to trap and entangle and ensnare your honorable soul in it. Yeah. Crone again and emotions. Stay away from the lies, the cheating. The, 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 the mind manipulation games that they try to play on us. We're going to outsmart them through true authenticity. Through truth, authenticity, faith, and hope, and knowing that God is a powerful force on this planet at this time. I don't even know if they know. Maybe the psychics, maybe they're warlocks, maybe they're witches, maybe they're People who read tarot know that there are powerful souls on the planet at this time making big moves towards judgment of fire and lightning and crashing of the, the ocean waters, emotions down upon those who have been unjust to the people. It's tower moments for everybody, death and rebirth of their emotions they have to go through the dark night of the soul, too. Yeah. They've been putting it off for thousands of years. They can't hold this back. They can't hold it back. They're going to have to go through a death and rebirth just like the rest. And that's love, God says. When you really, really, truly love, you, 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 you know, you know the death and rebirth is going to be good for you. The death and rebirth is always good because you come back better than ever every single time. Focus on the good. Focus on the golden days that are ahead of us, Divine Feminine. Stand strong in your power. Call out all lies and misconceptions as mothers and nurturers of this planet. Stand up for the underdog and those who are vulnerable and can't stand up for themselves. And the God of creation, the mother who gave birth to this universe, will stand with us. Because it is our day. It is the dawning of the days of Aquarius. And Aquarius is a divine feminine sign. We know that by the sign of the energy. This is feminine. Yeah. It is the dawning of the Aquarius. So let's, uh, emotional intellect is what we're talking about. This will be, from what I understand, this is going to be the new currency. Emotional intellect, there's going to be a rebirth in the money system and who's going to be getting money and resources. And it's going to be going to those who are emotionally intelligent and bringing forth, this is the messenger, 
emotionally intelligence and bringing peace to earth, new jobs to earth, who are uh, bringing in divine law and universal law, who are sharing the resources of the earth, who do not want to take all for themselves, but want to see all of us happy. And it's going to take us to be strong. We're, they're not going to give it lightly. They're not going to give it lightly, but we don't want war. We want peace. It's our right to have these things. And it's up to us to fight against them through peace by, you know, we just don't give them our energy and we begin, you know, I, I'm not saying we want to fall back into primitive days, but I don't know where we're going to come to. So we know that God is working with us. The Holy Spirit is working with us. Father's working with us. Mother's working with us. Angels are working with us. The planets are working with us. The whole cosmos is working with us. And now we want to work and do our best with all this energy and possibilities that are around us. We want to take advantage of it and speak out, speak up in what we believe because what we believe could change the world for a better future for tomorrow for all of us, for all of us. Let's leave the world a better place. Let's uh, bring the universal laws down. Let's bring the laws of uh, this planet down. Let's, uh, let's bring judgment down upon those and we have nothing to hide. We've only worked our ass off for our whole lives to try to sustain and keep our heads above the water. It's them who've made bad judgments on us, and we all know that. They're guilty. They're guilty of cheating us out of our inheritance, out of our world, out of our percentage of this earth. Each one of us born here deserves 1% of the planet. Yeah. I don't know how much that would be, but that's the way it should be. And then the government would probably start teaching everybody about um, how, you know, not to get pregnant so that they wouldn't have to share so much. <laughs> and we wouldn't get overpopulated, right? It, it, it's just a matter of, see, they make the more people we have, the more money they make off of us. Yeah. The, last, the less people we have is better for the planet Earth to where we are at a place of balance, taking care of her, her taking care of us, and planning for the future children that will be coming in to uh, enjoy these things that the matriarchs or the mothers are going to set up for our families all around the world. I'm not saying men aren't important. I love me a good man. But let him be smart enough to understand that the mother knows how to take care of the children. She knows how to run the farm. She knows how to nurture. She knows how to love. She knows how to care. She knows what needs to be fed to the children. She knows they need house. She knows they need a great education and wonderful stimulation of experiences in order to turn them into highly intellectual beings that can grow up and make better judgments and decisions as they grow into leaders on this planet, right? That's what we want. Okay. Yeah, the essential. This is the rule maker. <clears throat> Twelve of um, pentacles. Planting the seeds for a new world. Planting the seeds and explaining as we go along what we're doing. Planting the seeds and bringing in something that's workable for all of us, workable for all of us to where we can all enjoy pleasure, where we can all enjoy time off, where we can all enjoy our life on this planet. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, everybody, I love y'all. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me your comments. I hope you guys like this Divine Collective read. I love you, ladies. Keep on pushing. Keep on speaking your truth. Keep on standing in your power. Be the boss you are, and you have every right to be, too. Love you. Bye-bye.